he won five gold gloves, played in three All-Star games. In one year, he finished second in the MVP race. Once Andy Van Slyke left St. Louis for Pittsburgh, he became a star. However, he's always lived in our town. He's always been candid to when it comes to Cardinal conversation. That's why he is our Sunday conversation. It's a pleasure to welcome the great Andy Van Slyke. How dire is it? Brewers will keep their pitching. Cubs, Reds, better seasons, good young talent, and the Pirates even beat them. How dire is our situation right now? Well, as far as pitching goes? Period. The organization. Oh, gosh, Frank. Uh, I, you know, I really don't know about the minor league system, but as far as having uh, a chance to win next year, I, I still think it should be like maybe like a two-year plan. The pitching was that bad. It, matter of fact, I'm glad you asked that question. All right. I have a few things to say <laughs> about the pitching staff. Um, 29th in strikeouts per nine innings in all of baseball. Ooh. Not good. Right, let's look at five pitching names they could acquire. You give me a quick take. First, Blake Snell. Probably priced out. Um, good. He, he's been around for a while, and I, I, I just think he'd be priced out. Aaron Nola. A chance. Um, even though he's been pitching the big leagues for nine or ten years now, uh, I would not give him more than five years. I know that. Jordan Montgomery. I would be very interested to see him come back. Uh, we saw what he did in the playoffs this year. He's pitching well. He pitched well for the Cardinals last year. So the only thing that really bothered me about trading him was the fact that we really didn't get anything back to help the ball club. Sonny Gray is 34, with the exception of the bad outing a few days ago. Mm -hmm. He's been pretty good. He has been good. Really good. Yeah, and again, um, you're, you take a chance anytime you, you, you take a pitcher who's a free agent in his 30s. I mean. You just never know when that arm's going to blow out. The fact that he's 34, I think th if you're going to do this a sunny great contract, it's got to be three years or less. And then the guy you haven't seen, Yamamoto, who they're all talking about, but the Mets and Yankees heavily involved. Quick take there. Oh, gosh. Um, if those te two teams are involved, uh, I think the Cardinals are out of the equation. Let's uh, break down the mistakes made, and you give me your thoughts. They went public with Wilson Contreras having some catching issues. Your take on that? Oh, gosh. Uh, I think they probably got rid of the problem, to be honest with you. He went to Baltimore. You know, anytime a pitcher. Um, Talking about Jack Flaherty. Jack Flaherty. Anytime, and I'm sure he's probably not the only one, but the thing is you can never blame somebody else for your failure. And as a pitcher, the point to put, you know, the point your finger at a catcher, he, catcher only calls it. He doesn't throw it. The Wainwright situation, now at the end it had a good ending, but do you think maybe, hey, the season was shot, why not keep trotting him out there, or, or was it handled poorly? Well, it's such a sensitive thing. I mean, he, he, he's done so much for the organization. Now, from my personal perspective, I think it was a little selfish. Um, it's something that I wouldn't have done. I think that it's something a lot of, a lot of guys who, who've had 15-year careers wouldn't have done. Having said that, it ended up being a great thing, but in the process, it actually – was good in the sense that it exposed all the problems we had in the bullpen. So the fact that he kept getting rocked out of the, out of the game, having three innings, four innings, five innings, it exposed the bullpen problem, and that's going to be a big issue next year. You've been very candid about Jordan Walker's defense. He is 21, playing it for the first time, and did make some improvements. What do you think? Well, there was, <laughs> there was only one place to go. <laughs> I mean, to be honest with you, if it, get, if it got worse, um, you, you're going to have to move him. He, he's going to be okay um, if, he, if he hits enough. I mean, that's really what it comes down to, Frank. If, if he hits a lot, you can, you can deal with the mistakes he makes in the outfield. Ali Marmol won 93 games as a rookie manager. How much blame does he deserve this year? I don't think he gets credit for the 93 wins and I don't think he gets to blame for the season it really depends on the players look he was dealt a really bad set of cards I mean he was going out there trying to compete with aces and he was you know had 410 you know trying to bluff his way through the season how do you move forward with some of these players Ryan Helsley unhittable but sometimes unavailable more unavailable than unhittable um, you cannot start a season with your closer if you can't use him three or four times a week. He's not dependable. I think he's, he'd be an interesting trade. What about Nolan Gorman, who's missed a lot of time, too? I know you're real high on him. What's your advice to Nolan? Um, my personal advice would be stay out of the weight room, uh, work on hitting the ball to left center. Your defense is good enough. 
you, you got a lot of time to maturate at the big league level. Just play baseball and don't worry about how good you look in a uniform.